Western investor with us now, Valla Bhansali, of course, now joins in, chairman of Enam Securities. Mr. Bhansali, good morning and happy new year to you and your team. Always good to have you on CNBC TV 18. Uh, Mr. Bhansali, the, the first question that I want to ask you is that 2016 was a bottom-up stock pickers market. Uh, uh, 2017, uh, do you, do you see that changing? Do you see some kind of trigger which could make the Indian market rally as a whole? Or do you think it will still remain a bottom-up stock pickers market? I think the first half uh, or most of it should remain a uh, bottom sub market. But I think with a lot more confidence because I think the year of break was 2016. We broke from a lot of traditions. And uh, that uh, creates more clarity. Uh, we have a new president in the U.S. by 20th January. We have the budget here by 1st February. And uh, demonetization behind us. Uh, so I think we have a lot of policy clarity that will emerge uh, very soon in the next six to eight weeks. And uh, that will make uh, the bottom pickers or the bottom stock, uh, bottom up people more comfortable with greater policy clarity. So I see better days ahead. Mr. Bhansali, good morning and a very happy 2017 to you Same and your to you, team. Lata. Same to you, Lata. Uh, Same to you. Sir, you know, the uh, New Year announcements uh, from uh, the Prime Minister as well as a giant rate cut from uh, State Bank. Do you think this is a fairly potent uh, combination? Do you see uh, recovery picking up? I definitely think I haven't for a long time seen a sharp cut like this and I think more banks will follow. Um, but uh, I must also say that this uh, in itself uh, has to, uh, may not be enough, and we need to see greater expenditure by the government. But uh, in itself, uh, what's something we have been clamoring for, uh, you know, a big rate cut, irrespective of what RBI does, has happened. And I can't welcome it enough. Mr. Bansali, good morning. So you spoke about the possibility or the hope of greater expenditure. What more do you think uh, the government could announce in this budget and what are your own expectations? I think the government has been, you know, pushing expenditure on the infrastructure side. Mm -hmm. And um, I think more could happen uh, where, uh, you know, rubber hits uh, the road. And I think uh, given the fact that we have had demand destruction, people will look for even more tangible uh, support. And uh, I think uh, uh, one thing that I liked about the recent announcements, uh, and uh, I hope that that gets built on, was uh, very measured approaches. It was not a populist kind of thing. Uh, they were in different areas. Nothing was uh, out of hand. The growth in numbers, whether they will be 33% more homes or doubling of loans to farmers and so on, everything is very measured. I think uh, this measured, calibrated approach in the directed, well-selected areas, that if it continues into, say, expenditure on certain roads, certain railway projects, whether it is uh, rebuilding stations, we had those announcements uh, in the recent visit from the prime minister where he announced several projects on the railways here. So if we see more money come out and advances go out to contractors, I think uh, the rate cut plus some of those measures will really boost the sentiment. Mr. Bansali, you know, that point is taken that for now it's measured and calibrated. But the risk is that as we head into an important election year as well, we have UP elections around the corner, uh, uh, could we get some bit of populism as well? Uh, uh, and that's something that the capital markets don't like. Uh, your thoughts on that? I think uh, the moment for the populist was the 31st December. And if on that day uh, he chose uh, not to be populist and be very measured, I think the risk is over. So I would not expect any more populist measures as such. Uh, if uh, we haven't heard the final numbers on demonetization, the government has made its intention clear by passing an ordinance uh, to deal with the shortfall, if any, which I don't expect to be a large number. Uh, so that might be a different story, but uh, I think it's been extremely measured, and I personally don't think uh, any more populism. Okay. So uh, you, know, you use the word demand destruction, and even now as we speak, uh, the, there are daily reports of uh, the uh, tax authorities uh, doing their analytics on the way in which deposits have come back into the system. Now, that needs to be done, of course, but what does that do to demand, especially consumer discretionary demand? Uh, Lata, you know, as a long-term investor, I look for, you know, what is being done for the long term. 
for, you know, almost decades and centuries, uh, we have got used to a way of life where gaming the system is okay, it's even smart. I think that has to change. And I think here we have a leader who has taken huge political risk and continues to take that political risk to crack the system. I think uh, I feel a lot more secure from a future generation's point of view that we are moving in that direction. So I wouldn't worry about it. That demand destruction happens for some people. We are missing out at how much the organized sector is liking it. So, there are a number of investors who are just looking forward to investing in companies that will benefit from a more organized economy. So what do you see as the trend from FIIs over the next uh, three to six months, Mr. Bansali? Because in the last three months, FIIs have pulled out at least 40,000 crores from our markets. Uh, and there's been a big degree of underperformance of the Indian markets versus other markets, including other emerging markets. Um, what do you see as the trend here on? I think uh, this was a massive correction following uh, Donald Trump victory. And uh, I think also picking up gains that they had accumulated in emerging markets. As you rightly said, it is across the board. It is not really related to I mean, demonetization or demand destruction here. So I think that this is self-reversing. Uh, markets, uh, when the prices are low, uh, send their own trigger uh, for investors to come back. So I am not worried about that at all. They are always opportunistic and uh, they will come back. 2017 is a better year, sir? Definitely. No doubt about it. All right. Mm -hmm. Leave it at that, Mr. Bansali. It is a good year for us, starting with...